Hi there, here we have the Fisher level displacer that is completely pneumatic. We have our air supply coming in and we have our, our signal of 3 to 15 PSI going out. We're going to read with this T180. Now here we have the inside of the controller. We have the supply pressure is just about 20 PSI and our output currently is 3. We have our proportional band setting here and we have our position, our zero level right here. Now, be sure that on these, we always uh, make sure that this is not pinned so that it's not stuck up here. Now, our displacer is right here. We're going to go the entire length of the displacer. When, it's, when the water level is down here, we'll get 3 PSI out. When it's up here, we'll get 15. It'll go 3, 6, 9, 12, and 15. Now, what happens is, as the displacer um, has no water level, we are looking at the weight of this displacer, and the weight is transferred through this rod, through this rod, which then has a C board on two, which has a back pressure, which tells us where the level is on this. Okay? That works from the principle of the displacement of water. The amount that this displaces, it tells us the weight difference. The weight difference from zero, the weight difference to 100, gives us the back pressure, which then we convert that with our proportional and our zero and that gives us our output. Notice that they took this off, it went to 100% output. That's because there's no weight on it currently. So now I put my displacer back in the tube, put it back in on the rod. I am at 0% currently, and I am getting 3 PSI. I'm going to zoom in so that you can see this better. You're not going to see me, but you'll be able to see all the numbers and everything better. Okay, so here we have here we have three psi. I'm going to increase the water level, and that's going to allow right here. That's going to allow the water to rise. As the water rises, it's going to bring our output up. I know you can see this output a lot better than you can see this one. So this one is at four psi right now. As the water level rises, you're going to see the pressure output rise. And there is markings on the displacer. It's hard for me to get it in close so you can actually see it currently. So you see the water rising. Now we see we passed 25% there, and our output actually is past 25%. We're coming up closer to 50%. We're about 40%. I know this is fairly slow, a big tank. So we're coming up on 50% right now. And we're just about there. Right now we're at 50%, and we have pretty much 9 PSI output, which is 50%. And we can see that up here as well. We have 9 PSI output. If we ever needed to change our range, we're waiting to get up to 100%. If we ever needed to change it, we wanted to go a smaller range. We can only go so big. The displacer is um, about a foot long. 
So that is our maximum uh, distance that we can actually tell the calibration. We can go lower than a foot, but we can't go more than a foot. So we could always change our proportional band. Proportional band is kind of an inverse relationship of proportional gain. So here we'll come up to 75%, and we have 12 PSI output, which is perfect. That's exactly what we're expecting. And so now we're coming up to the end. Oops. We're just coming up to it here. We've got 14 PSI. And I have to turn this off. Whoops. Okay, that's a little over 100%. I went a little too far. So we have 15.3, a little blurry there, and this shows 15 PSI output. And so that's the displacer.